Hello everyone. I hope you had a uh, fantastic National Thrift Shopping Day yesterday and found some uh, good movie deals out there. Uh, this video will be uh, shelf number 10 of my comedy section. Uh, first we have uh, Will Ferrell and Anchorman. Uh, liked this, like I said before, better than uh, Step Brothers. This was when Will Ferrell was back in his prime. You know, he doesn't do so much stuff that I like these days, but this was back when he was in his prime. Then we have Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. Uh, great movie as well. I actually enjoyed this one more than the first one. It wasn't as offensive as the first one, I guess you can say, or as hard of an R in my opinion. But it's, uh, I thought it was funnier and had better moments. So definitely a lot of cameos, which I liked. I loved the battle scene between all the news crews. We got Good Luck Chuck. This movie was hilarious. It was like, you know, Dane Cook, uh, he can either hit it out of the ballpark or he'll, he'll, he'll strike out swinging, but... This is definitely one of his better movies, I thought. Uh, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry with uh, Kevin James and Adam Sandler. You know, I'm not a huge Adam Sandler fan, but I am a really big Kevin James fan, and this movie was definitely worth a watch. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. This movie is hysterical. I absolutely love this movie. Then we've got the sequel, which I thought was even better. I don't own or have not seen the third one, which was the Christmas one. But uh, I'm definitely going to have to try to find that one. Then we have uh, Mr. Woodcock. Uh... I don't really remember much about this movie. I do remember that uh, I believe Billy Bob Thornton was dating Sean William Scott's mom, who was played by Susan Sarandon. And I guess he was like the gym teacher who uh, picked on him in high school. So uh, definitely an interesting watch. Uh, Intolerable Cruelty, I loved this movie as well. Uh, these two worked really well together, and, you know, the facial comedy from uh, George Clooney is hard to, hard to deny in this movie. Uh, then a classic comedy movie, Ten Things I Hate About You. You know, always a fun watch, especially if, you know, you're just looking for a movie to watch on a day where you have nothing to do. Definitely worth checking out. Then we've got uh, She's Out of My League. Uh, this movie's hysterical as well. Uh, I actually saw this in the theater and wasn't planning on seeing it in the theater. We had missed a uh, showtime for Clash of the Titans, which came out the same weekend. And uh, had to settle for another movie, so we went and saw this one, and we were very, very happy leaving the theater. And then, of course, we got one of my, uh, this is probably my second favorite behind the other guys of Will Ferrell's movies, Talladega Nights. I mean, Shake and Bake, what else can you say? Wish they would have made a sequel to this one. Uh, then we have Wild Hogs. You know, big Tim Allen fan, big Martin Lawrence fan. I was sold just from having them two both in the same movie. And this movie definitely delivered a lot of laughs. And then we've got one of my probably top five comedy movies right here, Tropic Thunder. You know, between Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Tom Cruise. You know, Matthew McConaughey and Ben Stiller in this movie. This, what's not to like about this movie? People quote this movie so much. This would have deserved a great sequel as well. Uh, then we have The Hangover. Uh, you know, I wasn't as, you know, I guess you can say excited or whatever watching this movie. You know, there was a lot of hype watching this movie, and I thought it was okay. I just didn't think it was as as big as everyone else made it out to be.
Then we have uh, The Hangover Part 2. Uh, same thing. A little bit more outrageous. I thought it was better than the first one. And uh, this was probably the best of the trilogy, trilogy, actually, now that I think about it, I think, this one. Uh, then we have The Hangover Part 3. You know, uh, out of the three of them, this was, this was probably the weakest one. But it was still worth a watch. Then we've got The Goods with Jeremy Piven. I love this movie. This would probably go in my top five right here. Like, this is like a hard R movie. And just absolutely hysterical. Uh, we've got Drill Bit Taylor with Owen Wilson. Uh, this movie was okay. You know, not my not my favorite Owen Wilson movie, but, you know, it's a fun uh, kid comedy movie. And then we've got one that I really wasn't expecting much out of. It was kind of a blind buy back when I first started collecting, like, hardcore. And uh, this actually turned out to be really, really good. I mean, you want to talk about two way different actors... Oh man. <laughs> then we've got uh, Thank You for Smoking. Uh, definitely a, a different type of comedy movie. A lot of actors in this movie, but definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it before. And then we've got Amanda Bynes in uh, She's the Man. Uh, another fun watch you know more of a family kind of uh overcoming comedy type of thing but but boy they pulled it off then we got one that a lot of people didn't really like you know i wish vin diesel would uh do other things besides the fast and the furious all the time and i actually thought this was a really good comedy movie because you didn't expect him to do a movie like this but he, you know this was way better than find me guilty if he did more comedy movies like this, I think it would be good for him. And then we got another classic comedy movie here, Father of the Bride. What can I say? It's, it's a classic for a reason. Then we have Father of the Bride Part 2. Uh, again, classic for a reason. Amazing movie. I could I could watch this all day. And then finally, the last movie on uh, this shelf, Hollywood Homicide with Harrison Ford and Josh Hartnett. This is like, uh, in a way, it's kind of like uh, the other guys, only it's not R. It's PG-13 and it's a little bit more family friendly. And they play more off of the old and young dynamic. But yeah, this is this is definitely worth a watch. I mean, a lot of I don't really see a lot of people talking about this movie, but th this movie is hilarious in my opinion. And that's it for the tenth shelf of my comedy section.